The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. Remember that the church is a place for Bible studies. Where you learn the world. Someone says, where is the application? <laughs> Friends, the application of the world is in the world. We can't teach you the world and then use commerce and use business to show you the application of the world. No. We can't teach you the word of God and use natural things to show you the application. The application of the word we are teaching you is in the world. You see the application of the word. What's the first application here? You will never see Abraham's blessing again as material. Because now you have seen what the blessing is. And the application is that you too, you have believed, you are blessed. That's the application. Just like Abraham believed and it was credited to him for righteousness, I also, I believe in the resurrection. Therefore, I am the righteousness of God by faith devoid of works. That's the application of that word. Now, because you cannot get a truth out of a lie. You cannot get a truth out of a lie. Abraham's blessedness with the faith he had in the promise. So God's promise was not what Abraham already had. God's promise is what Christ will do. Remember, we're examining God's integrity. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12. My goodness, that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Remember, it is faith which is patience. Verse 13. For when God made promise to Abraham, God did not make promise with Abraham. God made promise to Abraham because he could swear by no greater. He swore by himself. To swear means to make a commitment or to give a guarantee. For lack of words, the writer of Hebrews says, because he could swear by no greater. That is, he is not going to ask someone to swear for him. He swore by himself. That is, whatever God told Abraham is what God himself will do. If he sends an angel, it is not him. If he uses words, it is not him. He has to self-perform. God has to self-perform. Perform what he has said. So he said he swore by himself. Saying, uh, glory to God, the integrity of God's word. He swore when he made promise to Abraham because he could swear by none greater, for that promise he made, he swore by himself, saying, give me verse 14 of Hebrews chapter 6, saying, surely, blessing, I will bless thee. Multiplying, I will multiply thee. Wow. 
When did Abraham obtain the promise? In his lifetime or in the resurrection? Resurrection of Christ. Look at verse 15 now. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Next verse, 16. For men verily swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife. To them what? An end of all strife. Look at the next verse. We are in God, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel confirmed it by an oath that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie. We might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us. All right? Now, the word things there is immaterial words or actions. Things. Huh? Actions. Actions. All right. There is a word I like you to write down. Ametatetos. A M E T A T H E T O S. Meaning no change of position. That is, God cannot change his position. The immutability of his counsel. Ametatetos. Or Alf. Where the word Ametatetos is taken from. Alf metatenai, to change. Alf means no change of position. Why? Two things. Number one, he gave a promise. That's why he can change. That's why it is immutable. He gave a promise. Number two, he made a self-commitment to guarantee it. Two things. Number one, he gave a promise. Number two, he made a self-commitment to guarantee it. I have said it. I will do it. Number one, I have said it. Number two, I will do it. He could swear by no greater. This is a self-fulfilling act. Look at verse 19 and 20 of Hebrews chapter 6. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into death within the veil. 20. Whither the forerunner is for us entered. Even Jesus made an high priest, made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Jesus is the foreigner or the one who goes ahead to see to it that the promise that God made comes to pass. So, in Christ is the promise of God. And Christ is the foreigner who goes ahead to ensure that what God said comes to pass. So, kabato meketea. That is why the word cannot fail. That is the integrity. Or the integrity of God. Or the integrity of God's word is in Christ. That is to say, what Christ did puts a seal of finality. What Christ did puts a seal of finality on all that God has ever said. So Christ is the integrity of God's word. Yeah. What Christ did is the seal of finality on all that God ever said. And Abraham, in believing God, believed Christ. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also like this message for us. 
do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.